Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> you need to scooch a little more. Hi, Instagram. Or <laughs> scooching. <laughs> okay, uh, guys, welcome. Here we are live, and this is one of Lisa's favorite shows. It's the statistics show. Yes, our top story today are the local and national statistics. <laughs> Yes, on what's happening in real estate. We get them every month on the 10th. So it is the 11th, and we are ready to give these out. So um, I came across this article that just came out that, of course, you know I love the numbers. And it says California home prices have more than tripled. And it was just kind of caught my eye, and I'm sure it caught a lot of your eyes too. Um, and so I thought we'd just talk about that, about what's happening with this. Is, these are California n uh, numbers we'll start with. Yes, more than tripled. That's saying a lot, right? Yeah. In a very short amount of time. What was the amount of time they tripled? It uh, In the last couple of years. Last 24 months. Now let's see. Median home value, uh, maybe uh, in 20 years. 20 years. Okay, so 20 last years. 20 years, home values have tripled. Mm -hmm. So are they going to triple in the next 20 years? We'll see. Oh, I would think so, based on the available inventory. <laughs> <laughs> And the amount that they're building inventory. So, based on that statistic, a million dollar house will be worth three million dollars 20 years from now. Mm -hmm. that, that is amazing. Yes. So, the top 10 cities where home values have gone up by more than 200 per, per, percent, that means tripled, since 2000 are listed here. And guess how many are in California? These are the top 10. Top 10. Okay, um, all of them? Yeah, the top five, six, six yeah. are all in California. <laughs> yeah, I'd actually read that. So, so <laughs> <laughs> when you said five, one, it caught me off guard. Number one was San Francisco, and then LA, Riverside, San Diego, San Jose, and Sacramento. The LA, Riverside, San Diego, kind of in our neck of the woods. They always lump Ventura County in with LA County, Southern California, and then Santa Barbara County kind of gets either lumped in with Central Coast or Northern California. So <laughs> we're kind of always LA County, even though we're Ventura County. Right, the next one after <laughs> California was Seattle, which makes sense, right? Because what drives housing prices? Jobs. Jobs. What does Seattle have? Jobs. Jobs. High paying jobs. Next after that was Tampa, number eight, Miami, number nine, and Austin, Texas, number 10. Um, I was just talking to an agent in Texas that told me today that um, the Austin Metroplex area is soon to surpass some of these numbers on housing affordability because it's been so crazy there. I would think there's not one surprise on your top 10 list there, really. And no, it's not a surprise. It's just the amount that it's gone up. In 20 years' time, that's a lot of increase. But there's not one just like, oh, my gosh, where did that come from? I mean, it wasn't like New Hampshire showed up or another state or well, That's area. kind of on the next list. I have oh. another list. <laughs> What's your other list? <laughs> well, the next se section of the ar uh, <laughs> article was several cities around the country saw much slower growth and number one on that list is cleveland ohio oh my gosh but it still grew it still grew <laughs> only a 60 percent increase in cleveland we have clients that just moved back to ohio um, where they're from and so it's still up there 60 percent still a lot right it's just not a triple it's right still 60 percent and i would more than imagine that even though i'm not familiar with cleveland i would think that their housing market right now is exactly like it is everywhere else. Multiple offers going on over less price and just the buyers are just having a really rough time of it and sellers are easily selling their properties. Yeah, we have another client moved out of state and I was texting with them this morning. They're having a very hard time getting an offer accepted uh, where they moved. So it's challenging, not just here. It's everywhere, mm -hmm. every state, every city. Even in Cleveland, I'm going to guess that Cleveland is having the same issues that we are around the globe, basically. Mm -hmm. Another section of the statistics, I'll get into them for Ventura County here in a minute, but I thought this one section here about the um, houses that have sold 
I think, the, I think these numbers were year to date. So sold, uh, asking price versus sold price that, you know, about a third sold under, I mean, 118 sold under asking, 100 sold at asking, but 523 sold over the asking price. 523, that's the bulk of the sale. 70%, 70.6% of oh. homes sold over the asking amount uh, last month. Average days on market, 25. Um, it's just in, it, crazy. Okay, you, lo you lost me a little bit about here. So 118, 100, 523, what are we talking about? Well, the point about? was that the 71% the of the houses that sold last month sold over the asking price. That makes sense. Yes. In fact, I would venture to say that the other 30% Sold over the asking price too, but that would be a hundred percent. So right. that would totally skew your numbers. Well, it just you know, it's it just crazy that you feel it. I mean, we feel it in the in the market and all the properties we look at. But then to see the numbers come out and confirm it, you're like, oh no wonder, you know? Because sometimes you're like, are those just the deals I'm working on? But no, it's in the it's in the whole market. So it's crazy. Another thing that's changed a lot since January is the mortgage rates. They have, you know, and basically it's happened in five months. You go back five months ago, you were looking at two and three quarter percent. Today's price, let's just guesstimate it or let's broad brush stroke it here, five percent. So you've gone up from two and three quarter to five percent. Now, what does that equal? Well, let's say you qualified for a house, $500,000 house at two and three quarter, the same five percent on the same house. Now puts you in the 350 range. That's a big difference. Yeah, and there's aren't any in our market in those prices at all. But if you're looking at nationally, there uh, th that's more of an average nationally. Yeah, average is the best of the worst, and the worst of the best that puts you yep. in the average. Yep. And if you're buying investment property and you're looking for a non-owner <laughs> occupied loan, um, or even a home loan on a second home or a vacation home. But mostly the investor um, properties, you can expect to pay higher rates than that. You do, we do, everybody does. It's yep. an investor, and like you said, refi now, they've kind of put the refi in there. So I would think the refi business, the refinance business on your personal property, that's gone. Yeah, it has dried up. I just checked before we came on the show here, I just <laughs> checked, went to the Wells Fargo website, refinance rates 5.125. Yeah. And that's on a residential, you know, single family owner occupied rate so before the the refi rate and the purchase rate were the same they weren't there was no basis points or spread between the two now they have spread them so if you want to refinance your house you're going to pay more interest rate than if you were to go out and buy a new house or another house yeah it just that's, it's just that's a, strange it's just amazing but we want to make sure you have all the latest news on what's happening so that's why we're here <laughs> um, another cool chart that I found you know I love the charts was a realtor.com chart about the hundred hottest housing markets uh, that are currently the hottest and number one is Hillsborough County New Hampshire that's where he got New Hampshire yeah, okay. yes, from so the beginning of the show <laughs> and then Ross County Ohio Newberry County South Carolina La Crosse County Wisconsin so these are all um, not around here that are the hottest markets from Realtor.com. There's only two markets in the whole out of the top 100 on this list in California, and number uh, see where it was. It's Sutter County, which is up in Northern California, and we even made the the list. I think we had to get to number 40 or so, and then further down, uh, the other one I just said. Well, I'll find I hadn't it. heard of either one. I hadn't hadn't heard of Sutter County before. These are the hottest 100 markets, and these are all places we haven't heard of. Yeah, and then number 60 was Santa Cruz County, and then Sutter County was about number 40. So those are the only two counties in the hottest markets on the whole list of top 100 in the country. Well, <laughs> but at least California made the list. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, the, the triples on the top 10 cities and then the 100 counties that are the most active or the hottest in the country, you know, we're not even on there. So two and two stills equal four. Why is that? Well, it, it doesn't seem to with the way these numbers are. You know, I think it's just pricing. 
versus affordability. I think people are on the move right now. They're working from home. I, you know, every time we talk with somebody, a buyer or a seller, they're always working from home. It's like, hey, I can live anywhere. It doesn't really matter. There's people that are working on positions or working at jobs where they've moved out of state when they work for the state. So it's just very unusual out there. There's a lot of things going on. It's push me, pull me time. And that's a parade around here on July 4th. So that was kind of an inside joke. <laughs> I have a question here about where is the Woodlands, Texas on the list. So I'll have to see what county is Woodlands, the Woodlands in. And I will look and see if the county is even on here for Texas. That's right. We're going to have to study our geography. That way we know all the counties in all the states. <laughs> I don't want to know, know them all in this state. It's such a big state. There are 52 counties here is what I think. <laughs> 52, 58, somewhere around in there. 222, 21. It's an electrical problem. But we definitely know the one that we live in very, very well. That we do. We, we look at homes and prices and buildings every single day. There's a couple things on here I just wanted to po uh, point out for Ventura County, which is where we live, that the year-to-date average sales price on the solds is over a million dollars now, $1.1 million. That's up 13% from last year. And then I wanted to point out new listings are down 4% from a year ago. That seems, I mean, the market seems tighter than that, but that's what the numbers show. It is. The numbers always tell the story. Mm -hmm. If they won't, we will. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks, guys.